All right, welcome back to the second part of the series where together we make this V-neck puff sleeved crop top for our fashion doll. I am so excited to actually add this piece to my collection because as some of you may know, my doll wardrobe is actually full of just mostly basic pieces. And I know, I know I need to add some pretty things in there too someday right and today's the day so previously we were able to prepare our fabric pieces seal their edges and finally cut them today let's start with the vertical darts on the top torso pieces I'm gonna grab our trusty pins to secure them first before stitching for this project and probably for most of my future videos I'll be using my good old brother sewing machine and here's our machine stitched dart and here's the other one Up next is we hem the deep V neckline. Let's pin the fold securely first before running it on the sewing machine. And here we go. The next thing we'll do is connect the sleeve to the arm side or armhole. Make sure that your back arm side matches that of the back arm sleeve hole curve, like so. Now let's start with securing the middle points for both sleeve and arm holes with our trusty pin. Then secure both endpoints next. Now we set our folds onto the top part of our sleeves. Yeah. 
You can also see me here pin base the lower part of the sleeves. There really is no definite order here guys. You can adjust the folds and the basting as you go. Adjusting while setting folds also makes sure all your seam lines align. For this pattern, I'm making a total of 5 folds for our sleeves. That's 2 top folds on the back side of the sleeve and 3 folds on the front side so it looks fluffier there, if you know what I mean. This pair of tweezers are the best when it comes to making folds, guys. And here you go, our folded sleeves ready to be stitched. And if you're like me, who is not a really a fan of having sharp pins pricking me while I sew, ta-da! I stitch base them all around the seam line so the folds are super secure. I removed the pins, made sure my marks are visible, and we are ready to stitch. Here go our sleeve seams. Now let's remove those bastings by first cutting them in short lengths so they're easier to pull out later.
And finally, all cleaned up seam line. Let me show you how this part looks. Then let's repeat the previous steps for the other sleeve. And that's it for now, darlings. On the next video, we will gather and hem those sleeves, alright? So, see you there!